Hey guys and girls, hope you've been well. Today we're gonna to be talking about a pair of scissors, really shears I guess, called the Leatherman Raptor. So these pair of shears, like a lot of things on my channel, was recommended by you guys. Well, a couple of you guys in the comments said I should check these out because you love them. And I had seen them around but never picked up a pair until now, and they seem awesome. So I figured I'd do a little review slash overview for you guys to tell you a little about the features, uh, and maybe, maybe it's an item that you'd be interested in. All right, so here they are. It actually comes with this little holster if you feel like wearing it on your belt, but it also comes with a pocket clip so you can put that right in your pocket if you want to and the size of it is you know here it is I have pretty average size man hands and let's just get into some of the features so at their core they are a pair of high quality shears now these things are heavy duty I'm gonna go ahead and just like cut some random things that I grabbed here's a bottle cap No problem. Here's like a random HDMI cable that I had lying around, like kind of a pretty heavy duty one. No problem. All right, let's see what else we can cut. Here's a can, monster. Obviously cuts through that, no problem. Oh, hopefully that was in frame. Uh, let's see. Cuts through that, no problem. So yeah, as you'd expect, a pair of shears that just cuts nice. And let's see, still cuts, here's the owner's manual. Still cuts paper, great, as you'd expect. Man, I, I keep on not looking at the lens, so hopefully I'm cutting in frame here. So yeah, as you'd expect, obviously these things cut great. They're super thick. Here's another pair of shears I have. These are some titanium model. But you can see how much beefier the Raptors are. I think you could probably see just how much thicker the metal is. Uh, if not, you can take my word for it. But yeah, uh, and then you know, they have the blunt tip so you don't cut anything or anyone. Other than just being a pair of cool looking shears that transforms into these little like folding pocket thingies, it has some other features on here that make it a great device to have in your car or something. So at the end here is a carbide glass breaker. So carbide, you want those because it's very hard. So the harder the material is that you're trying to break glass with it, the less force it takes to break the glass. So if this was just like a steel or even a hardened steel tip, it wouldn't break glass as easy. Uh, carbide breaks very easy. Pocket clip, like I mentioned before, here's a little Thing. I don't know, you could put, a, put it around your neck if you wanted to with like a little string. Uh, and then it has a seatbelt cutter here with an oxygen tank wrench built into that. And I'll test that here for you. All right, so here's a little one and a half inch webbing, kind of like seatbelt thickness basically. So cutting with this, with the shears, obviously no problem. And then I wanted to show the little cutter here. So this just opens up and has its own little liner lock here. So you can use this actually with the scissors deployed, I guess, or open, whatever you wanna say, and they'll just cut through that, no problem. But also, you can access this with the scissors closed. So if you have this on your belt clip or whatever, you pull this out, and then you can deploy that, and you have a little cutter there. Obviously works the same, cuts it, no problem. And then also, if you can see here, right here, it has what's called a ring cutter. Now I don't have any rings lying around to test this with, but I have something that probably, <laughs> and I may ruin my scissors here, probably will cut not as easily as a ring. So rings are, you know, usually made out of pretty soft material, gold or whatever. Uh, this is steel, this is a key ring. Let's go ahead and get that in there and see if it'll cut. I'm kind of doubtful and I hope I don't break my scissors here, but. Oh, okay. Well, actually it cut that no problem whatsoever.
Okay, great. So that's a pretty heavy duty little cutter right there. Doesn't look like I actually damaged it at all. Still is closing fine, albeit maybe the finish got a little bit scratched up. Okay, well, impressive. Cuts that no problem. I imagine it would cut through a gold ring or something, no problem. Uh, and then, yeah, so has a little ruler on here as well if you need to measure anything. And that's basically it. Now, some things to note that you won't be able to see in pictures very easily is that when you're actually cutting with this, it's a wider, there's more distance between this and this. Sorry, I'm trying to just look in my camera and see uh, if this makes sense on video. But it's kind of wide here. The grip is farther apart because it's not in line like a normal pair of shears. So a normal pair of shears is the handle is in line like this and that's how most scissors are. This is off center due to the folding nature of the shears and you know, it's, it was a little weird for me at first just seeing it and feeling it, but cutting with it is no problem really. Uh, you have seemingly just as much torque and since these things are just built like a tank, uh, the offset I don't think really matters. So that's just one thing to note that you won't really see easily, like unless you have it in your hands. Uh, so that's just one thing to note. And other than that, I mean, it's just like using a regular pair of shears. Uh, except you got all these other cool features. Granted, it's gonna be more expensive than a regular pair of shears, but uh, all said and done, I think it's a relatively uh, good deal, good value for all the stuff that you get in this little pair of shears. So one thing I really like about this is the size, the folded size. So here's a kind of standard pair of shears, and you can see how much less of a footprint that has. So this might come in handy like, so this is my, this is my car uh, kit emergency kit, uh, kind of trauma kit that I keep in my truck. You've probably seen it in my truck EDC and stuff. In here, I have a little pair of shears. These guys. So you can see that it fits in this case, and that's what I like about this. But these are a really small pair of shears. Now, you know, they get the job done, but something like this has an even smaller footprint than these kind of micro shears which are smaller obviously than your full size standard shears. Uh, now if any of these other shears you know, fit your needs, I'll link to all this stuff in the video description below. But the thing I like about this is that it gets to such a small footprint. Obviously I like all the other added features in it, but the fact that it gets so small means that it can fit in places that some of these other larger shears might not be able to fit in your packs and stuff like that. So another thing that's really nice about this, uh, in addition to just being cool that it unfolds and stuff, it actually has practical uses of being able to fit into smaller pouches and stuff. Hey guys, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful at all, uh, hit that thumbs up button icon. If you can, just take a second and do that. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. If you are subscribed, do that notification thingy. I'm sure you've heard all of your YouTube channels beg you to sign up for there, so do mine too. Uh, Leatherman Raptor Shears. Great little item. You know I'm a Leatherman fanboy, kind of. Uh, I've been EDCing my Skeletool for years now. Love it. Uh, and actually, I mean, it's kind of unrelated, but it's another Leatherman product that I always saw and was interested in, it is the Leatherman Tread Bracelet. I picked up one of these because I was kind of curious. I always saw that and it's pretty expensive, but I was like, is there actually any functional use out of this or is it just kind of a gimmick? Is it just some man jewelry that looks cool? It is man jewelry that looks cool, but I'm gonna be using it over the next however long and seeing if I can actually use any of these things uh, in real everyday life uh, as I travel and stuff. I'll probably actually put a watch face on it. Anyway, stay tuned for that. If you have questions about the tread, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll try and throw those into my review of this whenever whenever I release it some sometime sometime down the down the line. All right guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.